Welcome back. In this video, I'll be looking at pure mass year two of vectors part two. In part one of the video, I went through all the key definitions and facts that you need to know for this chapter. In this particular video, I'll be looking at different exam style questions on this chapter. Starting off with question number one and question number two. Question number one, find the distance from the origin to the point P with coordinates two, eight and minus four. First of all, the distance from the origin to the point P is given by distance is equal to square root x squared plus y squared plus z squared x coordinate y coordinate z coordinate now I substitute to give me 2 squared plus 8 squared plus minus 4 squared I put this into my calculator and I get 2 square root 21 so the distance from the origin to the point P with coordinates 2 8 and minus 4 is 2 square root 21, I can put in units. Question number 2. The coordinates of A and B are 5, 3, minus 8 and 1k minus 3, respectively. Given that the distance from A to B is 3 square root 10 units, find the possible values of k. So now we are looking at the distance between two points. So my first point is 5, 3, minus 8, I can label my coordinates x1, y1, and z1. My second coordinate, ladies and gents, is 1, k, minus 3. I can label the coordinates x2, y2, z2. The distance between these two points are given by the formula distance is equal to square root x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared plus z2 minus z1 squared. Now I substitute my values, okay, to give me the following result. 1 minus 5 squared plus k minus 3 squared plus minus 3 minus minus 8 squared. So now I need to clean whatever I have inside the square root. Okay, so if I expand and simplify, I should end up with a quadratic. And that particular quadratic inside the square root will just be k squared minus 6k plus 50. Right, we know the distance between the two coordinates. The distance between the two coordinates is 3 square root 10 units. So I can set this particular expression equal to 3 square root 10 units to give me the following equation square root k squared minus 6k plus 50 is equal to 3 square root 10 now i need to square both sides okay so squaring the left hand side gets rid of the square root giving me k squared minus 6k plus 50 3 square root 10 in bracket squared will just be 90 okay the next step is to take everything to the left hand side giving me k squared minus 6k minus 40 equal to 0. So now I've got a quadratic equation involving k. I can actually solve this quadratic equation. The factorization of the quadratic will just be k minus 10 k plus 4 equal to 0. So we have that k minus 10 is equal to 0 hence k is equal to 10 k plus 4 is equal to 0, hence k is equal to minus 4. So the possible values for k are k equal 10 and k equal minus 4. Moving on to question number 3 and 4. Question number 3, the vectors a and b are defined by a is the vector 3, 2, minus 1 and b is the vector minus 3, minus 2 and 4. Show that the vector 3a plus 2b is parallel to the vector 6i plus 4j plus 10k. First of all, ladies and gents, we need to find the vector 3a plus 2b as a column vector. So we have 3a plus 2b. This is equivalent to 3 lots of the vector a, which is 3, 2, minus 1, plus 2 lots of the vector b, which is minus 3, minus 2, and 4. 
we multiply this column vector by 3 and this column vector by 2. 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. 2 times minus 3 is minus 6, 2 times minus 2 is minus 4, and 2 times 4 is 8. Now we can add these two column vectors to give us 3, 2, 5. We notice that 3, 2, 5 <coughs> is a scalar multiple of the vector 6, 4, 10. So we can write 3, 2, 5 as a half of the vector 6, 4, 10. So we have that this 6, 4, 10 can be rewritten as 6i plus 4j plus 10k. So the vector 3a plus 2b is equal to a half of the vector 6i plus 4j plus 10k. That is, the vector 3a plus 2b is a scalar multiple of the vector 6i plus 4j plus 10k. Hence, we write a conclusion. Hence, the vector 3a plus 2b is parallel to the vector 6i plus 4j plus 10k. And that completes the question. Let's move on to question number four. The vectors a and b are defined by a is the vector 1, 2, minus 4, and b is the vector p, q, r. Given that a plus 2b is equal to 5i plus 4j, find the values of p, q, and r. First of all, I'm going to rewrite this particular vector equation in column vector form. Okay, so I have a is the vector 1, 2, minus 4, plus two lots of b, the vector p, q, r. This must equal 5i plus 4j. Now 5i plus 4j can be rewritten as the column vector 5, 4 and 0 in three dimension. Now I can combine these two column vectors. But before I do that, I need to multiply p, q, r by 2. So I have 1, 2, minus 4 plus 2p 2q, 2r. This is equal to 5, 4, and 0. Now we can combine these two vectors. That is, we're going to add the two vectors, giving us 1 plus 2p, 2 plus 2q, and minus 4 plus 2r. This is equal to 5, 4, 0. Now we can compare the coefficients for i, j, and k. So comparing the i's, we get 1 plus 2p is equal to 5. Comparing the j's, we get 2 plus 2q is equal to 4. And comparing the k's, we get minus 4 plus 2r is equal to 0. Now we can solve for p, q, and r. So if we solve for p, q, and r, we get p is equal to 2 q is equal to 1, and r is equal to 2. So that there completes question number 4. Moving on to question number 5 and 6. Question number 5, the position vector of the point A is 2y minus 7j plus 3k, and the vector A to B is equal to 5i plus 4j minus k. Find the position vector of the point B. First of all, ladies and gents, we know what the position vector of the point A is. It is O to A, and O to A is equal to 2i minus 7j plus 3k. So we have that O to A is equal to 2i minus 7j plus 3k. The vector A to B is equal to 5i plus 4j minus k. We want to work out the position vector of the point B. That is the vector O to B. So we are after the vector O to B. First of all, we know that the vector A to B is equal to O to B minus O to A. Hence, the vector O to B is equal to A to B plus O to A. So we've got A to B, which is 5i plus 4j minus k. Plus, we've got O to A, which is 2i minus 7j, plus 3k. Now, we simplify this by collecting the i, j, and k. 
So if we simplify this, we end up with 7i minus 3j plus 2k. So the position vector of the point B, which is the vector O to B, is just 7i minus 3j plus 2k. Let's have a look at question number 6. Given that A is the vector 5ti plus 2tj plus tk, and the magnitude of the vector A is equal to 3 square root 10, find the possible values of t. Okay, first of all, we start off with the statement magnitude of the vector is equal to 3 square root 10. So magnitude of the vector A is equal to 3 square root 10. So now we can actually find the magnitude of the vector A. This will just be square root 5t squared plus 2t squared plus t squared equal to 3 square root 10. I can actually simplify further now to give me the following result. 25t squared plus 4t squared plus t squared equal to 3 square root 10. Simplify further, you get 30t squared inside the square root, so square root 30t squared is equal to 3 square root 10. Now I can make t the subject. First of all, I can square both sides. So if I square the left hand side, that would get rid of the square root, giving me 30 t squared. If I square the right hand side, I end up with 90. t squared is therefore equal to 3, hence t is equal to plus or minus square root 3. So the possible values for t are plus or minus square root 3. That completes part 2 of the video Pure Maths Year 2 Vectors. Now in part 3 I'll be working through more exam questions on this particular chapter. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.